drugs can kill you. Your first pill can be your last pill, or really anything. And are you concerned for your own friends' lives that if they're not educated, they might fall down the wrong path? Yes, and I have a couple of people in mind that I'm a little concerned for. And <coughs> I just don't want to end up, like I said on CTV, I just don't want to end up going to their funeral and telling their parents that I'm sorry, even though I would be sorry. And. How do you find things have changed since the recent uh, information has came out about the death of Chloe Coteval and Tesslin Russell, and especially with all of the recent overdoses, especially whenever we've seen 28 in a week? How do you think uh, things have changed since it's been starting to be discussed? Well, I think there's more awareness now because it's been on the news quite frequently, and I. I don't know what it's going to take, but I think it's going to take more overdoses and deaths for it, for someone to do something. So that's why I want to try and get education. And, but what do you think education needs to be? What do you think they should do? What do you think they should have in their school curriculum to help educate people? It can't be dry. It cannot be dry education. Like it, it's not just going to be someone standing there talking with a, with a plain PowerPoint saying this is what it is, this is what to do, this is what not to do, so. And it would need to be not sugar-coated, like straight up truth. So what would you like to see the curriculum be then? Well, there's a, there's a spot in the curriculum for grade six and it says no expectation. And when I saw that, I was just like, okay, so we can fit something into there perfectly. But what I would like to see, not dry, not sugar-coated, straight up truth, not a PowerPoint either, like activities and a quiz or a test at the end of the, at the end of the session when they, when they teach it, so. And what do you think having a curriculum would help stop or help prevent teens from turning to drugs? If they know that it can kill you, I doubt that they would start start it, start doing it, but a lot of parents think that if they learn about it, then they're gonna want to do it. For me, it's the total opposite of that, because if you know that it's gonna do something bad to you, you can become addicted, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. And, what is it that, that you would not do it? I know the con consequences, and the main one is it can kill you. Another one is that you can be, become addicted, and then you'll spend your whole life trying to get off it. And, uh, what did you learn out of today's event put on by Lisa? Well, I had to like leave halfway through for the kids thing. But what do you think other kids. people will get out of it? The stories that have happened and what it can do to you. Why it needs to put why there needs to be an end to it. And what would you say to Lisa McLeod about hosting this event? I would thank her for hosting it because that's just something great to do and I would tell her or ask her to do another one but like maybe not at a school like somewhere where there's a lot where a lot of people will know about it and what would you like to see happen in the future well my main wish is that there won't be such thing as overdoses even though I know that's like logically not possible because there will always be medication for people in pain but a more realistic hope for the future would probably be that there's not as many overdoses and that kids learn not to take drugs.